The final question in unraveling the puzzle of peace is, how do we consolidate peace and prevent conflict? Is sustainability of peace possible? So prevention of conflict means trying to understand what the underlying factors are, the structural drivers of armed conflict, and we know quite a bit of that. So I think the single most overlooked issue for the future when it comes to stability and security is the way that we're handling our cities, because three billion people are going to be added to the population of cities over the next decades. So the consequence of not addressing urbanization as a potential source and driver of development is that we are seeing a lost opportunity, but also potentially something that can drive instability, drive conflict in the urban centers. Peace is indeed a moving target. What we really need to come up uh, in societies that are facing conflict is a way to deal with the different conflict and the different discerns of the society through a democratic process and not through violence. The puzzle of peace is really, at the end, the responsibility of the population of each country that is trying to reach peace. Many people can intervene, but if the, the citizens are not doing it, we are not going to really be able to reach peace. If it's institutionalized and it's built into the cultural context, so people are, play by a certain set of rules and are willing to respect each other in a certain way, yes, then I think cohesive peace has the, has the best chance of being sustained. Very often destruction unlocks new energy. It destroys very often relationships and institutions that were not necessarily optimal and allows people to create new ones. But in fact, I would argue that human nature is much more peaceful than we give it credit for. And the exception is conflict. People find very creative ways of getting around horrendous situations. And through these creative ways, there are pockets of resilience and resistance that emerge. By tapping in some of these uh, dynamics, sustainability of peace may be possible in the future.